bothers me. My family homesteaded that community in the 1870s. And it bothers me to go back and visit my grandma and see what's left. And I don't want to see that here. So, do you want to continue this conversation? Or do we walk away and, and do we let it go? Well, I would think we would want to continue because if we walk away, there's not going to be anything to come back to if we walk away long enough. That's right. My hometown is, well, I actually have two hometowns, I would say, and they're both. One is dead and the other one is dying. And so uh, we don't want that to happen. We have tremendous resources and opportunities in this whole uh, area. And it's a lovely place to live. And um, we don't want to walk away from this, I should hope. I'll make one comment along those lines to have a conversation with the elderly gentleman the other day that kind of surprised me because I thought he was really on board the economic development and so forth. And he said, I like the board the way it is. I don't want it to change. <clears throat> and I said, well, part of it is we don't want it to keep getting smaller. So, you know, change can be bad to the negative side. But I also know he's recently had some kids and grandkids move back. So I said, so you'd be fine if they went back to the big city. And his attitude changed real fast. So, you know, some of the, we're more of an elderly uh, community than we used to be. So I think part of it is getting uh, some of those, some of the people to understand that this isn't just about economics, it's also about family and, you know, if you want some of your, you know, younger relations to be in the area with you, because they won't be if, if we don't make this work. And uh, one other thing I guess I'll mention to follow up on Josh's, you know, as boards go back and you know, get some things in line for what we would like to talk about in, in the larger meeting is maybe get to work on the placemat idea right away. You know, what would we like to, you know, put on those placemats to begin with and, um, you know, get that idea, I guess, check with our boards to see if that's an idea that they would endorse. And if so, you know, start getting that information together. There's no reason that no matter where we go with this, that is still a good idea for that to happen. So. Thanks, Marty. Is there any other thoughts about how we take this forward? I get the, the general acknowledgement that this is something you all want to move forward with. Is there anyone who would choose not to or um, just doesn't feel like it's representative of protecting the interests of your entity. I mean, any other feedback that we can discuss tonight that how you feel this is going? Well, good. Um, I don't know what I was going to say if you did. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I think, though, what Josh had to offer uh, was a very important one, is that it's a challenge to each of you and the institutions, the organizations, the government, mental entities in which you represent, most specific, specifically as Lance boiled it down to the people in our communities that we all represent. Take back the SWOT analysis, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Think about the communities as a whole and how you have an impact. Identify some things within that strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. And then we will convene a meeting in the future after the first of the year. Same format. Make sure we reach out to the public more effectively. And I think that is, is, is constructive criticism, and, and I appreciate that, Mark. And we will do that. And we will reconvene, and we will talk about this. Because again, I, I and I know Janie, and I think probably everyone in this room, uh, maybe not agrees, but believes at least that this is too important to let go. Is there one night that's better than another night? Is there, I mean, I know we're going to have all kinds of conflicting appointments and that type of thing, but is, is the Tuesday night as good as any? Or is it good? Any thoughts? It is for the city. What do you say, Jay? It is for the city. And you don't want to be. No. 
Some boards on the hall may be, you know, I mean, it doesn't matter you got Christmas Thursday, New Year's and, and you go there. But I mean, I don't know. Okay, we're looking at the third Tuesday right now. Is that a problem? Be good. Six weeks will get. Pardon me? I said that should be good. Six weeks will pick up most, most uh, regular meetings. And I will add that, you know, we are an ag community, so let's get as much done as we can in order to well, I want to thank you all for your time tonight uh, on behalf of my board, uh, who I work for, um, but I also work for you folks. And so I want to thank you for coming because, to me, this is a really important first step in a lot of, in a lot of avenues. Um, I want to thank Lance for taking the time to come off, uh, or actually come down. I don't often get to say that. Come down from South Sioux City um, and, and visit us and at least share some of the examples of what has made them a very strong and vibrant community. So again, Thank you all for coming and uh, have a very safe and prosperous evening. Thank you. Coffee, cookies, water.